Minister of Public Administration Allison West said Tree Alexandra was nearing the end of construction just before the PNM government came into power in 2015 and adds that the People's Partnership government initially sought interest in renting the building. She said in 2016, the building was valued at $600,000 per month, which was equivalent to paying just over $14 per square foot. This, she believes, was generous since other buildings such as the Children's Court and the Ministry of Public Utilities were in excess of $17 per square foot. Minister West said $600,000 per month was far less than what was being considered by the former government. So the UNC was prepared to lease that building for $120,000 more than this cabinet is paying for it now, but yet it continues to be a problem. She confirmed that Attorney General Faris al-Rawi is a shareholder in the company that owns Tree Alexandra and has not recused himself 37 times from the cabinet as the opposition leader alleged. Seven of the recusals had to do with two properties. Four of them had to do with three Alexandra Street. One, and three of them had to do with one Alexandra Street. The minister, meanwhile, responded to criticism from Mrs. Passard Vicessa that the state was paying $20 million to outfit three Alexandra police. So seeking to challenge a building that cost less than one-fifth of what the UNC spent to outfit the building that is right next door is scandalous. Minister West also took a shot at the UNC for making this an issue, saying they were the ones that outfitted a building for the CPO, which remained empty. There's another building in Barataria on which they paid rent of a million dollars a month you. that they did not, uh, that, they, that they supposedly um, procured for the CPO that was never occupied for three years at a million dollars a month. Minister West said outfitting a building is a normal and expensive process, but is being done at minimal cost by government, although $20 million has been projected. Sonolala, TTT News.